channel welcome to my youtube channel if you're new hi my name is, my name is Renia and today i'm gonna do a little sit down video kind of talk about my labor my experience being pregnant being a mom you know everything my postpartum all these type of stuff my baby's currently sleeping um yeah so let's get into it because honestly this is the only time i have to film and it's 1 a.m. in the morning and it's the only time I actually have to film this because I'm so busy the whole day I barely had time to even film videos so um yeah let's just get into it before he wakes up or something so um yeah well first I'll start with his name because a lot of people actually ask me this all the time because on social media I don't really post face that much you know unless I feel confident uncomfortable to kind of post him but for now because i think it's just like really early in my opinion i don't want to be putting him so much out there on social media you know um i understand how like dangerous it can be as well so i want to like keep him as far away from it and also how toxic social media can be so the less is on it the better so that's why he's not really that much on it um or at least it's like a picture of a hand or something you know um not really his face uh is what i'm kind of like working towards and stuff for now um so yeah um but a lot of people do ask me on social media when i do post something related to him or a picture of him or something um i was caption it as baby e because that's just like my cute little nickname to to him and um i yeah and i don't really put his actual name but um so yeah for those of you who are wondering his name is eloy to be more specific his name is eloy wesley eloy is actually a name inspired by the bible just something after i decided on giving his name my grandma told me because she's christian that it's inspired by the name eloi and um the short term for it is eloy as well so that's really cute, but the reason I chose his name is because it really just hit stuck to me out of all the other names that I had in my head. One of the names that I really loved that I wanted to give him if it wasn't going to be Eloy was Isaac, but um, Eloy really stuck out for me to be honest. It just seemed so perfect and like the name that I loved the most out of all the other names that I had for him so um yeah so Eloy really stuck out for me and I went to search like his meaning where it's from to know as much as I you know knew for each name that I that I had in my head for it and Eloy I love this meaning it literally means the chosen one it means chosen um it is um from the origin of latin and i really just loved it and really stood out to me like i said the name itself just kind of like i don't even know how to explain to you but like when i did that whole list of different names that i like and that i would give to him um that one was at the very top of the list and like i said if it wasn't gonna be a lawyer it was gonna be isaac but that one really really just my favorite name and yeah and then the wesley which is his um middle name um it was actually it's funny because like it was actually meant to be Hensley which is inspired by one of my cousin's um name he wanted to give the name Hensley as a middle name and I said he could but here in Portugal we couldn't register that name so I ended up changing it to Wesley which in my opinion is way better than Hensley and so Eloy Wesley just kind of like fit in very well in my opinion so we, we ended up naming it Eloy Wesley and um yeah it just seems like those celebrity like famous names you know it's so, like yeah really stuck out for me um for sure and, yeah um on to the labor stuff um and like going into labor and everything um it like first of all my pregnancy was like i'm i'm i have to be grateful that it was really quick and just like very chill a lot of people go for a lot of things during their pregnancy i went for a lot of like hormone 
emotional stuff and I had a lot of things personal going around in my life that really just kind of like made me stressful so I, I don't remember that much from my like pregnancy because I was just stressed the whole time and it wasn't like the best times of my life not gonna lie there but my labor was really good I went in I had a pedal and they asked me straight away if I wanted um to have a pedal and I said yes I also had my hospital was like my hospital was actually like really really organized um we had I had the honor to take um a prep for um how do I say a labor like labor prep mommy and me kind of classes and I did it online with a bunch of girls that were gonna have their babies at the same time in the same month so I you know I got to meet new people and had did these classes which I could do like it was like stuff to know when I went to labor stuff to you know but it's like having a newborn, just like different classes for getting you prep for, as a mom. And it's great for you if you're going to be a first time mom. Um, my uh, GP actually recommended me to take these. I took them for free. But a lot of people do pay to do these classes. Um, but yeah, I was like really lucky during that time for sure. and super grateful. Um, it was such a big help to be taking these classes with actual professionals and get their professional opinions and stuff, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I did that and they also had access to a labor plan, which I got to take yes or no on what I want to happen during my labor, if I want to take any type of drugs or not, etc. and stuff. And I did put yes for epidural if I couldn't deal with contractions and I'm not gonna lie I had a really bad time with contraction let me explain it actually like from the beginning so I had a lawyer on the 23rd of July and and um yeah like at 3 a.m I believe I was starting to feel a lot of contractions so we went to the hospital and they sent me back home because I said I wasn't ready yet to be um, hospitalized there and to go into labor. Um, that it was still too early and that maybe tomorrow morning or something, whatever. But uh, so yeah, so I went home and literally about a couple of hours because I, I arrived home like around seven ish when we left and I went to bed and literally an hour later, so like at eight o'clock, around eight thirty or something, we. I got up again because my waters broke and I was normal at first but then like the contraction started to like really kick in and it was so freaking hard I felt like I couldn't even breathe and I was gonna like die in that moment seriously like I'm not even joking it was so bad and um so yeah my grandma was the one that came with me to the hospital because she wanted to assist her very first grand um kids um you know a uh, birth and she wanted to be able to that to do that so we planned for her to come with me she was here with me in that day so we went and as soon as i got into the hospital i got admitted um i, I stayed in this room for like i swear it was like five minutes but it, i was so bad with the contractions that i felt like i was there for like eternity like seriously it felt like i was there for like hours or something and I know I was there for like five minutes or something and um yeah and I just remember like starting to cry and be like please someone come like help me because I'm about to literally fucking die and <laughs> oh my god it was so much I then the lady came she checked if I was ready to go to labor she saw that I was um then I got admitted and I had to like, change the clothes and stuff and as I was waiting for them to get ready then they told me like around the time that i was gonna be getting into labor they told me that i was gonna start you know getting me to push around two um when i went into the labor room uh it was like one something one in the afternoon something i don't know but they told me that like around two um in the afternoon i was gonna have a light and um 
so yeah i i was there for quite a bit and when it came to the time for me to um you know to, while they were getting stuff ready they took my to my covid test while they were waiting for my covid test they put epidural on me so i wouldn't feel that much pain and yeah then they like put me on these like they put stuff on my arm so i can like honestly i can't even speak but they yeah so they can like control the contraction how much contraction i'm getting and stuff so yeah because i had the epidural i wasn't gonna feel the contraction but they had the machine to say how much and how high my contractions were so whenever it was really high they would tell me to push that's how it went and it went for about like 10 minutes straight when i started to do the whole pushing and i did a lot of things i did pushing like in the bed like like going hard pushing and all you have to do is really like pooing you know when you have that very strong poo inside that you can't push out basically that's how it felt to me at least that's how it felt without the pain and having epidural in my body um yeah by the way epidural does something that i didn't know about it is i i knew that it takes your pain away and that's why i wanted to take it but i didn't know that after when you were going through your postpartum i didn't know that you would have such back pains and it really did give me back pain on the first two days of it so yeah when i you know just like i don't honestly it, everything to me just felt like it went so fast but yeah honestly i kept pushing so like i said i was pushing in the bed and then i did some exercises where i would like go down on my knees and then like push or sit on the bouncy ball and push so i did those three methods um so many like times i did it for like 10 times uh, maximum i think and then i was ready to start like fully pushing so i lied on the bed and everything and then i went and started pushing like super hard as hard as i could you know and I'm not gonna kid you, when his head popped off me and the doctor, we all stopped for like five seconds and we looked at him and we were like, he's really big. Cause we were expecting Eloy to be such a tiny baby because in the choreographies and stuff, it was showing that he was like one kilo, two kilos maximum. Not that he was good, like he was a really small child, you know? And he was born with three kilos and something um i forgot on the top of my head honestly but three kilos and 70 something but um yeah he was born with three kilos and um the what's it called we were all shocked because we were expecting him to be a small baby and he ended up being quite a big baby um and because he was a quite a really big baby he ended up ripping me completely out which is the part that was the hardest for me wasn't even pushing a whole ass human inside me it was literally the afterwards the afterwards was so hard for me and then like i don't even know how to explain it to you honestly because it was like really hard um but once eli was out of my body that drug thing that i took the epidural that i took literally felt like it weighed off the body as soon as the baby went the epidural went as well because i started to feel all the pain straight away they gave me this other painkiller um drug thingy um because i got completely ripped out in my vagina that i had to get stitches i can't say how much stitches i got i just know that i got ripped out i got ripped inside and out and in the sides and everything like had really really cut open and i had so much blood the doctors even thought that i would have to go into surgery and everything thank god i didn't have to and i survived it but um yeah it was so much that part and the hardest part for me for all was literally the afterwards after he left my body because boy the pain came true pain that i've never felt in my entire life came and i had to get stitches up so while they were you know cleaning him and 
doing everything, putting him next to me for a bit, and then taking him to take care of them. Obviously, with my consent and stuff that they asked for, they had to put me in the side, and I had two people shout out to them. Um, that took an hour and a half because literally it was an hour and a half straight getting stitched up. And after I got stitched up, I was so tired and so like not myself, which was so hard that you know, um. I just needed to lay down and for the rest of the night I just kind of like stayed in bed and it was really hard it was, it was truly hard I was I couldn't walk I couldn't stand up I couldn't sit down like it was so hard my first day postpartum and the second day like the first week was just so hard the first day actually I cried so much on the phone to my mom when I was in the hospital because I just couldn't even get up like he would cry because he wanted to eat and I couldn't get up I had to have like so much help because it was so hard for me to just get up and, and feed him and sit down in a good position to feed him you know every like if you're a mom and breastfeed or if you ever breastfeed before you know how hard it is you have to be like super comfortable in a good position and everything that works for you and for the baby to be able to breastfeed um and I wasn't being able to do that at first. Also, a lot in the first like uh, days at the hospital, I stayed three days at the hospital. Um, the first days at the hospital, um, I like how do I explain it? He wasn't really eating much. He was having trouble like actually like grabbing my boob and being able to suck the f the milk off. And um, yeah, uh, it was really hard for sure. I felt so so off so not myself just like completely bad um currently for those of you who don't know i am one month postpartum um so i'm really fine it actually like i had so many people telling me like oh you're gonna be fine like after a week you're gonna feel like yourself again you're gonna feel better you're gonna be recovering and um i honestly didn't think that was true. I thought like, oh my god, this pain and the fact that I got completely ripped off. There's no way I'm gonna heal like I'm weak. But crazy enough, after a week I started to feel better. I wasn't completely healed, but I was way much better and I could walk and sit down properly now. Um and stuff. Uh so I was I was way better than what I was mentally, physically and even emotionally. Uh, which was great that it took a week my recovery went by so fast and so quick which is something that i can't even wrap my head around because just knowing that i was completely ripped into pieces by this child and then being able in the week to get back in my own two feet was just like wow you know to me honestly i didn't think i could make it but i was able to which is really good so yeah my recovery went really good uh, currently I'm one month postpartum and I feel great but obviously I want to do a separate video kind of like going in depth about it because I went through a lot of postpartum depression for sure with my body, with personal stuff with Eloy himself and just like I don't know it was just really weird and it's kind of weird to talk about it's not a topic that is so much talked about i even try to like look into other people's experience and what they have to say and there was a lot that i really related to for sure and it was scary um but at the same time it's not that kind of thing that is talked about so much which is so weird that not a lot of people talk about postpartum and postpartum depression you know um, I don't know how I feel about it either and like if I should talk about it or not but I did go through a, a lot and I'm still going through some weird stuff that has to do with my postpartum um, so yeah I am very lucky compared to like uh, other people on a lot of things but yeah it's just like really weird one thing that I don't like for sure that I don't like mentioning or talking about but I'm gonna mention to you guys because I always try to be as honest as possible that I can but my belly just really rubs me the wrong way like I don't like the way 
my belly looks it just looks super strange I, I want to show you so yeah like I don't really like the fact that my belly is so like I don't know stretched out and dark and then I have this weird um um stretch mark that like it just looks so weird and for me for some reason and I don't know it's something that I'm kind of getting used to my body as I did say at the beginning that at least when I was one month postpartum I would be getting back into working out and stuff but honestly I'm not gonna lie like being you know getting used to this new routine and a newborn baby and just everything has been so overwhelming and um i'm still working my ways into my routine and trying my best to find time and to do a little workout or meditate or something or even my youtube videos because that is hard to film sometimes it's been really like hard and i always try to mention it so you guys know if i'm not posting it's literally because you know like i'm busy with a child and it's, it, it really does take a lot of your time a newborn baby does take literally your whole entire time and it's it can be really tiring it can be frustrating it can be sad you can yeah like your first few times is rough and just yeah like i don't really know how to explain it completely because it's something that i'm going through and you know i'm gonna take you guys along the journey with me on that but yeah it's very very new for me very hard and something that sometimes i struggle with for sure but you know i'm trying to keep my head up and trying to do the best that i can so um yeah anyways with that being said i think i should get on to bed and sleep at least a little bit as much as i can before he wakes up so he can breastfeed so i'm gonna do that thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give a like and subscribe i love you guys so so much and I will see you guys in my next video.